Hey guys, Kai here from Tic Tac Tool and welcome back to your channel. In today's video, we are going to review one of Monster X Gear's mechanical gaming keyboards. Top of the line, the Abaddon Gaming Keyboard. Keyboard one of the most sought after hardware this year because of work from home arrangements and gaming keyboards have become a keyboard type that became instant hit too uh, because it's just nicer to type on. There are tons and tons of keyboards out there and it is just so hard to narrow down uh, when you are not familiar with what kind of keyboards that's out there that can offer you what you need. I mean, you can look at Razer's, Logitech's, uh, Corsair's, just way too many iterations and by the time you finish deciding on what to buy, everyone might just be activated back to the office. So presenting to you the Abaddon from Monster X Gears, a local peripherals and accessories brand in Singapore. First time I saw this word, Abaddon, uh, the Singaporean in me just wanted to cry out Abaddon, uh, but it is not the case, it is still Abaddon. Right out of the box, if you are familiar with the Corsair's K95 with the macro keys at the left side, uh, you would be right at home because the Abaddon, they have the same set of macro keys, G1 to G6. Uh, these keys are very helpful as they can become super shortcut keys. Yep, that's right. Uh, not just shortcut keys, super shortcut keys. And to get these keys operational, all you need to do is go to Monster X Gears website, go to support, select Monster X driver, and scroll down and you can see the Abaddon driver over here just to download it. Now for the macro keys to work on G1 to G6, you can do a pre-recording. All you need to do is just press this FN button over here, as well as one of the buttons from here. Let's assign a shortcut key to G1. Uh, let's try something simple, maybe copy. As you know, the standard shortcut key on the keyboard for copy is Control C. So to begin recording, you hit FN and G1 at the same time. The Windows button over here will start blinking. That means it is in recording state. Now, you just press the shortcut key, which is Control C. And then to end the recording state, you press FN again. So instead of pressing Control C, now you can press G1. So now if you were to say select this entire chunk and then you press on G1, right? It works. And of course, if you do decide to assign one of the other buttons for a paste command, you can do something similar. So I've assigned both G1 and G2 for copy and paste. Let's select this entire chunk. I copy and then I go to notepad and I paste. So instead of pressing Ctrl V, I can just press G2. So the macro buttons, you can be as creative or as advanced and extensive as you want them to be. All you need to do is to think of something very creative on your workflow. You can do at more advanced things, for example, pressing a button and then a YouTube web page will show up or maybe your email will show up. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do. Just have to give yourself some time, uh, think on what you want to do and you can get it done. All right, the keys, they are blue switches, as you can see. So they're very clicky and very nice to type on. Uh, not a lot of people love it, but I love them. And I do love them. Blue switches, so nice to hear. ASMR whenever I type. Some people cannot tolerate the clickety-clack of the blue switches. Some just hate them. But the question really is, what's there to hate? This keyboard has RGB lighting, so you can customize the color and the color patterns. Again, this can be found on the utility software. So you can pretty much do a lot of customization on the lighting aspects. Over here, if you can see on the light, there are a few things. Uh, my favorite will be Respire because there's this breathing effect that I like. Uh, something pulsating, something calming about it. And the ripple shining, this one is popular too. So if you to hit any of the keys, there is this ripple effect. Kinda cool. 
Now, as far as lighting goes, there's nothing out of the ordinary. It's the same as any other uh, gaming keyboard or mechanical keyboard that has RGB lighting effects. I also love that there is a volume control button over here on the top right hand corner. This comes in handy because it is just really literally a reach of a finger. You can also find the media buttons to the right side of the volume control wheel. If you're watching a movie, you can use these media buttons to control. Now, if you scoot over to the left side corner, which is the top left hand corner, you can see M1 to M5 buttons. These are backlit recording lighting buttons which means if you are gaming, if you're into esports, and if you want some buttons to just light up instead of having the entire keyboard light up, you can do so. Uh, they really have some presets. So if you press M1, your WSAD or WSAT buttons, which is your directional buttons on your games, this will light up. Also the arrow keys over here, they will light up as well. If you press M2, M2 has more buttons that light up. You can see, the control, the alternate, C, B, E, and these buttons which are lit up. These are probably standard layout buttons on the keyboard for almost any games. So you can pretty much do a backlit recording if you think that Spacebar and possibly Z is the only game that you need for a game. I don't know how you can possibly achieve that, but you can do so. So fully customizable. If you think that there is all to the keyboard, then you can't be more wrong because this keyboard is also, wait for it, a USB hub. Huh? On the front of the keyboard, you can see two USB-A ports over here and over there. These are USB-A 2.0 where you can use it to either charge your phone, plug in a flash drive, connect your webcam. Uh, what else you can do? Uh, stash your bus tickets. Yeah, I don't know why you would do that. It's late and I'm crazy. By the way, do they still issue bus tickets? Now, price-wise, this costs SGD199. Now, mind you, the Corsair K95, which has pretty much the same button layout as this keyboard, they cost more than $300 when they are not on sale. So for the same functionality and blue switches, well, because the Corsair K95 uses brown ones, you can save at least a hundred bucks. The quality on this is brilliant. There's nice travel and the keys are very tactile. So I would say if you are looking for a top tier gaming keyboard or if you are into esports, I fully, fully recommend the Monster X Gears Abaddon. And you have not tried a mechanical keyboard to type or to play games, guys, you should invest in a mechanical keyboard. And what better way is there than to get the Monster X Gears Abaddon? All right, guys, if you like this video, do hit the like button. And if you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button to be notified on a future post that we might post. All right, that's it for the Monster X Gears Abaddon mechanical gaming keyboard. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.